Summary of I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson Noah and Jude Sweetwine are twins and are 13 years old. Noah is a budding artist who has trouble making friends. He often goes to the Invisible Museum in his mind, where he imagines pictures of himself and others to make sense of what's going on around him. Noah and Jude are very close, which is nice because their mother, Diana, is a creative art professor and their father, Benjamin, is a practical research scientist. Noah and Jude can almost read each other's minds. They always pick the same symbols when they play rock-paper-scissors, which makes it hard for them to win. But Noah and Jude's relationship is put to the test when Diana decides to start preparing the twins for admission to CSA, a famous art school in the area, and Jude sabotages Noah's application because she's jealous of his ability. Three years later, when Jude was 16, he went to CSA. Noah didn't go there, but he has become friends with Jude's old group of famous friends. Noah doesn't make art anymore, and Jude has become strange because she is so into Grandma Sweetwine's Bible of superstitions, tales, and aphorisms, which she wrote before she died. Jude, who is shy and doesn't talk to many people, has cut off her long blonde hair and wears baggy clothes. She takes onions in her pocket and wears strange talismans that are supposed to keep away bad luck, evil spirits, and boys. Since Diana's death, Jude has sworn off men and started making clay sculptures half-heartedly, even though she thinks Diana's ghost breaks every one she makes. Jude is about to be kicked out of school when she has an idea. She chooses to make an unbreakable stone figure as a way to talk to Diana. Even though there isn't an artist living at CSA, the rock star of sculpting, Guillermo Garcia, is in town and could help. Jude looks up Garcia on the internet and is amazed by the huge drawings he has made. She tries to find him at his studio, and on the way, she stops at a church. She meets a cute older teen in the church. He is an English boy who flirts with Jude and takes a picture of her. When Jude goes to Garcia's, she finds him drunk, and the English guy from church leads him into his studio and begs Jude to leave. As Jude goes home, she goes to the beach to watch Noah cliff dive into the water. This is Noah's new dangerous sport. Back in the past, Noah starts to watch figure drawing lessons at CSA during the summer. He makes a short-lived friend with an English teen who works there as a model, and then sees the model get fired for drinking on the job after being caught. Meanwhile, Noah slowly becomes friends with Brian, a new boy in the neighborhood. Brian is a hobby astronomer who goes to boarding school on the East Coast and is the all-star pitcher for his school's baseball team. As people start to notice Brian, Noah worries that Brian will never feel the same way about him and that he will soon leave him for better friends. Noah starts spending more time at CSA so he can avoid both Brian and the tension at home. When Brian finds him there one day and apologizes for being too far away, Noah knows that Brian does like him, and the two become friends again. Noah often skips out on Jude for the rest of the summer to hang out with Brian and his cool friends. One night, while watching a movie, Brian and Noah hold hands, but nothing else happens. Some kids start playing Seven Minutes in Heaven at Brian's going away party at the end of the summer. Noah tries to get Brian to leave with him, but Brian refuses. Noah is put in the closet with Heather, but as soon as he starts kissing her, he thinks of Brian and joins the game. When he comes out of the closet, Brian is very angry, and he and Jude go back into the closet. Noah leaves the party and runs into the English model on the lawn. The model tells him to get real lessons from Guillermo Garcia, an artist who lives in the middle of the country. Noah gets lost and stumbles home, where he rips up all the pictures he's made of Brian. In the future, Jude will go back to Garcia's classroom and ask him to teach her. After a tense first meeting, Jude breaks down in tears and tells Guillermo how badly she needs to make a certain sculpture out of stone. He tells her to bring a portfolio the next day. The next day, Guillermo, Jude, and Oscar, the English guy, all sit down together, and Oscar takes off his clothes so Jude can use him as a model. Guillermo says that if you want to cut or create, you must first learn to draw without looking at the paper. After the lesson, Jude and Oscar have a flirty chat, 
but Jude gets suspicious when a girl named Sophia shows up to take Oscar out to dinner. Jude finds a bunch of notebooks with emotional love letters while she is looking around Guillermo's workshop. Jude is scared and excited by the letters, so she keeps them. As Jude starts her next carving lesson, she sees that the figure she needs to make is not of her mother, but of herself and Noah. Jude goes to Oscar's room after the lesson and starts going through his things. She is happy to find a bunch of photos Oscar took of her on his desk with love notes attached. However, she is surprised to hear him coming upstairs with a woman named Brooke. Jude hides in the closet while the two start kissing, and he hears Oscar tell Brooke that the pictures are of nobody. Jude comes out of the closet and runs away from the studio. Back in the past, after Noah broke up with his girlfriend, the English guy told him to find Guillermo Garcia. He goes to the man's studio and looks through the yard. He sees Guillermo teaching students how to carve, shape, and draw figures. Guillermo is happy and relaxed, and his studio is a real art and learning paradise. Noah leaves the yard and sees his mother's car stopped on the street. She is clearly trying not to be seen, so he walks up to her and she tells him to get in the car. Diana explains on the way home why she parked so far away from her house. Over time, Diana starts smoking and spends hours on her porch talking on the phone. When she's at home, she's lost in thought and easy to ignore. Benjamin and Diana eventually tell Noah and Jude that they are going to try living apart for a while. Benjamin goes to a hotel with nothing but a drawing Noah made for him for his birthday. That night, Jude and Noah get back together after Jude tells Noah that nothing happened between her and Brian and that she's actually more interested in Zephyr. During winter break, Brian stops by to say hello one morning. He and Noah then run off into the woods together. Noah and Brian share an intense kiss, but Brian tells Noah that no one can ever find out that Brian is gay. Because he is an athlete, Brian is afraid of being laughed at and treated badly because he is gay. A week later, Diana goes into Noah's room while he and Brian are masturbating together. Brian gets scared and runs out the window, telling Noah that their relationship is over. Noah won't talk to Diana about his feelings or his sexuality when she tries to talk to him about what happened. Noah hears a phone call between Diana and someone he thinks is his father the next morning. Noah follows Diana to a local landmark, where she meets up with Guillermo Garcia and gives him an intense kiss. Noah is afraid that Diana will tell Benjamin the truth about him, so he does this. Noah runs home when he finds out that Diana and Guillermo are having an affair. He draws a picture of them and leaves it for his mother to find. He sees Brian and a girl named Courtney kissing when he runs into them. Noah screams, Brian Connolly is gay, but immediately feels bad about what he said and runs home, where Diana is waiting to talk to him. Noah is crushed when she tells him she wants to leave Benjamin and marry the artist. After her run-in with Oscar and Brooke, Jude works on her no-hand Jude sculpture in her studio the next morning. Jude asks Guillermo to teach her how to use a strong diamond blade saw. With it, she cuts the no-hand Jude sculpture in half, which Guillermo sees as killing them but which Jude sees as saving them. Jude gets a text on the way home saying that Noah is drunk at a bonfire and about to try a dangerous jump. Jude runs to the beach and, with the help of Zephyr, finds Noah on a high hill facing the water. She tries to stop her brother from jumping off the edge of the cliff, but he gets away from her and she passes out. When she wakes up, she sees that Oscar has grabbed Noah and stopped him from jumping. Noah is angry because he really wanted to jump. He thinks that Diana's ghost helps him avoid getting hurt when he cliff dives, and that's the only time she forgives him. Oscar takes Jude and Noah home and gives Jude her first kiss. Jude is nervous about starting a relationship with Oscar, but as they talk and bring up the idea that they might be soulmates, she becomes sure that Oscar is the one. Oscar is looking at the pictures in Jude's room. He sees a picture of the whole sweet wine family and runs out the window, saying, Guillermo doesn't know. Back in the past, Diana goes out in the rain to break up with Benjamin. Noah yells after her as she pulls out of the driveway and tells her he hates her. Soon, Benjamin comes home with a police officer. 
He tells Noah that Diana died in a car crash. Noah tells Benjamin that she was on her way to his hotel to tell him she loved him and wanted him to come home. Noah goes to Day Street the day after Diana's funeral and runs into Guillermo Garcia. He runs to the artist, and the two of them cry together for a while, until Noah gets angry. He tells Garcia that Diana didn't love him and would never marry him. When Jude comes to Day Street the next morning with some new pictures of her mother for Guillermo to look at, he finally knows for the first time who Jude is. Noah and Oscar run into the studio, and Noah starts to tell Jude about Guillermo. He tells them the truth, which is that Diana had planned to leave Benjamin and marry Guillermo. Jude finally lets down her guard and gives in to the pain of their loss by falling into Noah's arms. Noah and Jude make up on the way home by telling each other all the secrets they've been keeping from each other for years. Noah then takes Jude to an abandoned building site to show her a huge painting he's been working on in secret for years. When Jude and Noah get home, they tell their father the truth about Diana and Guillermo's relationship. Instead of being angry, their father is pleased to hear the truth. For the first time in years, everyone in the house is really happy, and the three of them even talk about moving to a houseboat as a new adventure for all of them. Oscar comes to talk to Jude. He tells her that she's too young for him and that they shouldn't start dating until she's older. Jude begs him not to miss out on a chance at fate and real love, and after some persuasion, Oscar agrees that they shouldn't throw away a chance at happiness. The next day, Jude and Noah go to Guillermo's studio so Jude can work on her sculpture and Noah can start drawing lessons. As they all work well together, Jude thinks about the role of fate in people's lives and how Diana's affair actually made their family stronger instead of weaker. Two weeks later, Brian comes back to town, and he and Noah finally get back together. Benjamin and Jude go swimming in the ocean. When they get back, a ladybug lands on Jude's hand, and she makes a wish. About the author. Jandy Nelson grew up in New York, Boston, and San Diego. She went to Cornell, Brown, and Vermont College of Fine Arts to study writing. After starting her work as a literary agent, Nelson, who was trained as a poet, felt drawn to writing children's stories. During her MFA in children's literature at VCFA, she wrote the first draft of her first book, The Sky is Everywhere, which was released to great acclaim in 2011. I'll Give You the Sun, her next book, came out in 2015 and launched at number 8 on the New York Times bestseller list. The New York Times, NPR, Publishers Weekly, and the New York Public Library all named it one of the best books of 2015. Nelson lives in San Francisco. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.